welcome to our extension program today. I'm representing the University of Kentucky Cooperative Extension Service for the College of Agriculture, Food and Environment. And today we're going to be uh, focusing on our January recipe that we call Cooking Through the Calendar. It's a program that we have now done uh, for about a year and a half. And today's recipe is going to be our citrus kale salad. So I want to share with you some information on the ingredients first, do a little bit, uh, little bit of demo, and then show you the end result. So we're gonna start today with some fresh kale. And we think this, this is actually very fresh kale. I just picked it out of our extension garden this morning. And I'll show you how to prepare that but it's very rich in vitamins A and D that are very healthful for us. And teens and adults should have two and a half to three cups of dark green leafy vegetables per week. So we hope you'll like this recipe and try it so that you can be healthier both uh, yourself individually and also your family. Now I also have a package of organic kale that was purchased here in town this week. This is baby kale. So it's gonna look a little bit different than, uh, than the more mature variety, but this is the variety that we're using in our salad today. And let me just demo for you, show you how that we're actually going to stem that kale. Now, after uh, picking this, I have actually soaked it in a little bit of cold water with about a teaspoon or teaspoon and a half of salt. Since it came fresh from our garden, I wanted to make sure that there were, there were no little critters hiding in there. So we did soak that in the cold water with some salt. When you buy it from the grocery, I do suggest that you buy your bunch of kale, that you do wash it as well. Uh, so I'm gonna show you how to de-stem this. This has a tough stem. So we want to use a sharp paring knife and just fold that down and trim that stem out, which will then leave us with this very tender kale that we will have to use to chop for our salad. So we'll just put that back there, and then when we chop it, I just kind of crunch that up together, and then using your sharp knife, just cut it in about an inch or so size piece, and then we'll put that in our bowl. Now, some people like to do uh, something a little different with their kale, and it's called massaging it. I don't know if you're familiar with that or not, but massaging the kale actually makes it a little more tender and not quite as tough if you're eating that fresh. So what you do is just take your thumbs, uh, place it in there, and literally just give it a little massage with your thumbs. You can also turn it over and that will help release a little more color as, way, as well in your kale. So depending on your palate, whether you like really crunchy or whether you like it a little more tender, then you can actually do that with your kale. And it's kind of not a whole lot different, but it's just something that you may have heard on cooking shows and not been familiar with. And then we would go ahead, of course, and de-stem that one as well because the stems are rather tough, so you don't want that in there. And we would do the same method if we were going to cook our kale in a cooked vegetable dish. Then I just actually place that kale into a bowl. Uh, this is a large bunch over here that I have already de-stemmed and chopped, and a bunch is about a pound, or what I like to refer to as just a, a fairly large bowl full of kale. And then next, <clears throat> next we're going to work on our onion. And our recipe today calls, of course, the first thing you want to do in, in, pre in preparation is to be sure and gather all your ingredients. So we have our kale, we have our orange juice. We already have this measured out just to save a little bit of time. I'll just point to that. We have our orange juice, we have our olive oil, we have our uh, sunflower seeds, our orange, salt, pepper. Uh, let me try that again. That's salt and pepper like that, not opposite. Garlic powder, a little bit of sugar, and Greek yogurt. 
Now, in using those, I do want to tell you a little bit about, uh, <clears throat> about our olive oil. I have two types here today. And I do want to let you know today that be because I have a particular brand, that doesn't mean that we are endorsing that brand. It means that happens to be the brand that we were, uh, uh, that we were able to purchase today. So this one is an extra virgin olive oil, which is cold pressed. And that is the first press of the olives. And that's your very best, healthiest one that you want to use. This one is the best type, especially for salads, because you get more robust flavor. This one is one that says uh, extra virgin, but it also has some refined oils in there too, meaning that it wasn't only the first press, but it was also refined. So you may have some addition in that. And then back to our onion, let me get our kale moved over here. Now, our recipe calls for a small red onion, and you should be able to tell this is a large red onion today. So we're gonna just use half that. We want a very sharp chef's knife. And then we always like to have a flat surface when we're chopping. Now this particular onion we're using, we're not chopping today, but we're actually slicing it for our salad, which means we're going to do, use just a little different method today. <clears throat> now this one being a large one, we want to always keep our tip of our knife down, keep your fingers curled, and then just go straight down, tip of your knife down, and continue to slice through that half onion. Now these slices are a little bit large because this was a very large onion. Okay, so we're going to actually cut that once more just in half, just simply because I don't want that large of a slice. And you can certainly chop it smaller if you desire. That is up to you. And then we would add that to our bowl, ready to go into our recipe. <clears throat> Get that onion cleaned off. Okay. <clears throat> We've talked about our olive oil and our sugar. Garlic powder, the reason I really like to use powders versus salts, uh, the powders give us the flavor without adding additional sodium. Uh, which we don't really need in our diet. We need a smaller amount. So you get the flavor without the added salt. So in preparing your own dressing, you can control that amount of salt. And then we have our pepper, and that's just regular black pepper that we're using today. A tablespoon of our Greek yogurt. And again, no endorsement of brand, but this is a non-fat plain Greek yogurt that we're using today. So this one will not have a lot of flavor until we add the uh, spices to it. Our oranges, we, had, we want to peel those, and I'm gonna show you how I do that. Rather than actually peel the orange, I like to slice my orange in half so that we can get to those sections. Again, with my fingers curled, I'm gonna chop off that little end so I get the pith away. And then I'm gonna just slice that. And again, on the very end, I wanna slice it so I can get that pith out of my way. And then, uh, the reason I cut my orange in half, that gives us a flat surface to work on. If I'm trying to cut this orange, it's gonna be rolling around. So by cutting it in half, that gives me that nice flat surface to work with. That's the reason I do that. And then just take your little knife, cut around to get those sections out. Okay. This one's being a little contrary. And then just put those in your bowl. 
and we have already prepared that for you. I'll do one more here real quickly, but this gets that pith away and you get that nice orange, which we all need every day, but especially during this flu season, we need that vitamin C, okay? And then um, we've done our onion and then we have our sunflower seeds and I was able to buy today uh, the sunflower kernels that were already prepared. So at this time, we'll begin and we'll take all of our ingredients and mix those together and have a great salad. And now we're ready to mix our dressing and I'm going to do that just in a jar. I have a standard canning jar here, but you could recycle another jar that you wanted to use. We're going to add our orange juice. Our olive oil, our sugar, our salt, our pepper, and our garlic powder. And then we're going to just put that lid on that and shake it. And the nice thing about this dressing, you could actually go ahead and prepare this ahead, have it in the refrigerator, go ahead, have your kale stemmed and cleaned and in the refrigerator. And then at night when you're getting ready to have dinner, uh, those kids have a ball game or you have something else you'd rather do, it's all ready to go. So it's a fast food. And then we're gonna add our yogurt. And give it another shake. So this is quick and easy cleanup as well. <clears throat> and that makes a very, very nice dressing. Very nice dressing. Okay, so we're gonna pour that dressing over. And I'm gonna just do this, switch out, change my mind. Pour that over. And this is gonna be a very light and healthy dressing. I'm gonna to toss that just a little. And yes, I'm gonna have it everywhere. So let's get that on this little tray. Give that a toss, I need it a little bigger bowl. And then we're gonna add our onion. And since this onion was really so large, I'm gonna just add about half of that. And then you could always add more. And we'll add our oranges. And then we will garnish that. Get our little mess cleaned up here with our seeds. And I basically would not toss that at that point. I would just serve that just as it is and allow folks to get the amount they wanted. So you just spoon that in and get your salad out. And yummy, you have kale citrus salad. So we hope you enjoy our kale citrus salad this month and enjoy serving that to your family. We want you to try new vegetables each month. And in that suggestion, we'll be doing programming monthly. So we want you to watch for our uh, monthly show. It will be either called Cooking Through the Calendar or it makes sense because cooking at home saves you much more money than eating out. The other really good thing about preparing food at home and grocery shopping yourself, it makes sense because you're buying health for your family. So do join us next time. I'm Nellie Buchanan, Morgan County Extension Agent for Family and Consumer Sciences Education for the University of Kentucky College of Agriculture, Food, Environment.